Hi friends, it's Kaylee Bird. Welcome back to my studio. You know, I'm always thrilled to have you. So today I want to share with you my three essential erasers. Now I have taken a slew of art classes over the years and I've tried many, many different erasers based on art teachers' recommendations and professors' lists and all that kind of stuff. And these are the three that I have found to be the very best. They're clean, they are really get rid of all the scuffs, all the good things that you want from an eraser. If you need any erasers, please check my links down below. I've got everything, the brands that I particularly like, listed out. You can buy from any of those links. And if you do, it helps to support this channel. Yay, thank you. <laughs> so I hope you learned a little something today. If you do, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can come back over and over and over again. And it really helps to grow my channel. So I will see you guys later. Enjoy. Thank you. First things first, we want to use the kneaded eraser. Now, the thing with the kneaded eraser that makes it a little bit different than other erasers is that you literally need to knead it. <laughs> so you take it, pull it, stretch it apart, and what happens is it makes it kind of fresh, which is one really nice aspect of this, is that you don't get old, sort of, you know, brown, black, you know, whatever, eraser detritus you need it and it's like you know after a while you're going to need to get a new one but for the time being you can really knead it out and have a nice practically new eraser every time now this is basically meant for lightning not necessarily completely removing and the nice thing about this one too is that you can get a nice razor edge and get into places you might not be able to with other erasers. You can, of course, completely remove something. But it's kind of a lot of work with these. These are, these are much better for helping doing a little shading. See how you can form a nice gradient with that? Slowly come in a little bit. It forms a very nice soft edge. Right? Now for line work, of course, as I said, you can completely erase, but it's not necessary. It's a little bit too much work. But if you need to come in and just get a little bit here and there, that works pretty well. And it definitely does remove, and again, really nice for sort of lightening things up a little bit. A lot of times when I've done my initial drawing for a drawing or painting, I will use this and come back in and either stamp or slightly rub out my pencil marks to make them nice and light so they don't come through my outlines. Now this one, it will work somewhat on the much darker lines, of course, but it really takes a lot of effort and it's really impractical. Again, you can use it for, sh for lightening things a bit. That works well, even on the darkest lines. You can get some nice gradation going on. But again, this is going to be for lightening and not for completely stamping out. Now here is the eraser that I have known as a map eraser. However, there are many names for it, such as vinyl, plastic, or technical and a lot of times you will even see them sold in a small holder like this so as it comes out you can hold an erase that's very convenient as you can see mine's a little bit old and dingy but still erases nonetheless these erasers are marvelous they really erase very strongly smoothly and they make sure to get the job done now starting off with this shaded area these certainly work to come in and lighten areas as needed, but it's not very exact, and you're not gonna be able to see exactly what you're doing behind it. These ones are better for broad strokes when you really need something to be gone. You just come right on in and take care of business, right? You can do it a few times and really, really pretty much it is gone. Now when you get this little bit of buildup, 
all you need to do is, I would come on a fresh sheet of paper, but since this isn't actually a nice drawing, you just go and kind of erase it off of there, and it comes right off. And you're going to want to do that in between your drawings so that you don't wind up smearing the black. However, these white ones don't tend to smear the black nearly as badly as the pink ones do. So that is for taking things off. Now, of course, coming over here, these lines, same thing. This is not going to be your exact friend who is going to get each and everything. You're, you're going to have a hard time getting one space and another and not the space in between. Here, let me try that again. Right here, right here. And not too bad, but they're a little bit far apart. This is what you want for really having things gone. Now, here we go. This is the real challenge. How dark of a mark can you get rid of? Well, friends, this is why we don't do dark marks until we are absolutely 100% sure. However, this definitely did way more than the needed eraser. So there you go. This is going to be your workhorse. This is going to be when you need a bit of power, a bit of torque, and you really need to correct some serious and broad mistakes. And here we go, folks, our little Mono Zero. I love this. Somebody turned me on to these erasers not too long ago. Well, maybe five years ago now, but they are so incredible for really getting in and getting whatever detail they will go down to a hair point. So they will make a nice point just as the needed eraser will. However, it's got a bit more torque and you can really get in there and get that space taken care of. And they work just as well on pencil. And they do, let's see, how do they do? Even on the hardest. On the hardest lines, not too bad. Medium lines, definitely take care of that. And this one, for your exact point, when you're really trying to take something out, it can't be beat. Now, of course, you would not want to use this on these, but I love these. They're great. You get that exact point. This is obviously empty, but I love the fact that you can get refills on it. And this one is one of those that you won't need often, but when you need it, nothing will beat it. Okay, guys, thanks for being here today. Hope you learned a little something. Make sure you hit that subscribe button.